Well, just watching this one video in particular from Undertaker Freak is quite interesting because, again, it goes on to more guns, but I think that the main problem that Americans are missing in this issue is that the fact that Zim, 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 I can't say his name, George Zimmerman, still can't say it, was um, allowed to go free for so long. And the more you look at um, the how the police handled the case, I mean, there was almost no investigation to begin with. That That's the more shocking thing, that this guy could have... Well, what appears to have almost happened, that he almost got away with murder. Now... Let's reverse this situation. Let's say the exact same thing was to happen to a good friend of yours. And it was Zimmerman, Zim, Zimmerman versus, you know, your friend. And the exact same thing happened. And would you not be at least trying to get the guy into court to at least make sure that there was... That at least justice at least happened. And that if he did... Um, do something wrong, then at least, you know, there was reasons for defence. Now, in this video, there are a lot of people um, criticising in the comments the UK laws. Well, in the UK, we have something called reasonable force, because I think this comes into a lot of the conversation, which, again, hasn't been discussed, was when does defence turn into murder? And this is one of the reasons why we have the law is called, well, the part of the law is called reasonable force. Yes, you are allowed to defend yourself, but you are not allowed to essentially cross the line and, you know, start, you know, beating the guy into the pavement. But you are, you, you are still allowed to defend yourself. There's no, no one's questioning that part. But when does defense become murder? That is the real question of uh, particularly the stand your ground laws, I think, are an awfully stupid law. But um, the other thing, a final thing addressed in the video is he goes on to say, oh, Switzerland, look at them. It's not, it's nothing to do with guns at all. If Switzerland were suddenly say no guns, there would still be an incredibly low crime rate. Over there, there is a more societal societal issue than to do with guns. I mean, look at the prisons and their reoffending rate. I mean, from what I've seen, the U.S. prisons they throw the, they throw them in the jail and then they dehumanize them. How can someone function, you know, and readjust back into society when they've literally had their humanity and dignity being stripped away for how long they've been in jail for? And this is, again almost comes into, okay, you've committed a crime. Yes, you should be punished, but you shouldn't be, you know, treated like an animal. And it again almost comes into, should there be rights for a criminal? To a point, no, but yes, there also should be. Because when does, as I've said before, when does defence turn into murder and almost an act of, you know, self-preservation becomes that crime. It's a very, very hard thing to do, and I think it's more a, a legal issue that is there set. But anyway, that's my tuppence of a idea thrown into the conversation.